Hello again, everybody. This is Dan Clouser, and welcome back to the Journey of My Mother's Son podcast. This is the 200th episode of the Journey of My Mother's Son podcast, which is really mind blowing considering that on April 22nd, 2022, I recorded the 100th episode of the Journey of My Mother's Son podcast. Uh, I had my former producer, Tony Reese, on the show, who really got me into the podcasting space initially. And uh, it was an incredible experience, a great show. I encourage you to go back and listen to it. Um, but here we are just 10 months later, and we are on episode 200, which again is just incredible and mind-blowing to think that in just 10 months, I released another 100 episodes of this podcast. But uh, I did, sure enough, and I'm stepping out of my comfort zone here for episode 200, where I'm doing a monologue, which is the second monologue that I've done in the 200 episodes. It's something that I really don't feel comfortable recording, um, but it's something that, going back to my old producer, Tony Reese, uh, is always encouraging me to do. I've had some other people who have encouraged me to record more monologues than what I do. Uh, and again, I'm still still not there. It's still something that's not very comfortable to me at all. It's very awkward. Um, but uh, nonetheless, I figured it's a good way to start the uh, the next 100 episodes would be to record a monologue and uh, kind of recap a little bit of this podcast journey and, and more. So uh, at the time that I'm recording this, I'm sitting in Sulphur, Louisiana, which is a, a place that has really become almost a third home for Sandy and I. We've, we've been here several times. We've got some dear friends that live here. Um, Lori Pritchard and Jenny Finch. Um, we've been here for hurricane relief efforts on two different occasions. Uh, once back in September of 2020, right after Hurricane Laura had come through um, prior to Hurricane Delta hitting and uh, did some, some relief work uh, with an organization called SC3, which, is also, which stands for the Sulphur Community Christian Coalition. And uh, then we came back last March, March of 2022, and we're up at uh, Sam Houston Jones State Park um, in Lake Charles and helped do some restoration work there to get the park up and running and opened up again to the public. It had been closed since August of 2020 um, and almost uh, not quite a two full years, the park opened back up um, in June of 2022 couple months after we had left to the public and uh, it's now thriving and on its way to uh, really returning to the status that it was prior to the hurricane and really a staple and a fixture in the community. Um, Sandy and I were able to get back there in December and we'll actually be there uh, next week after this podcast is released to spend some time there again. And, and we love going back to visit and kind of see some of the work that we, we were able to do there and work that has been done since we've left and the improvements that continue to be made. Um, so uh, it's pretty cool to, to check that out for sure. But, uh, you know, one of the things I wanted to kind of talk about in this, uh, in this monologue was really kind of trusting the, uh, the timing, trusting God's timing um, and being comfortable with the journey, which is something that I oftentimes struggle with and, you know, continue to work on. Um, it's just not, not very easy for me to, you know, once I set a goal, I want it to happen. I want it to get going. Uh, I want to see fruition. And uh, although deep down in my heart of hearts, I know that's not the way life works. I know that's not the way the world works. Uh, we do live in a, world of instant gratification. Although that is not the case in most, uh, most instances, we got to put in the work, we got to put in the time and, uh, you know, the results do come. You just got to keep working. And, um, you know, for the past several months, I've been on this book tour, which has been absolutely awesome. Um, I've sold more books than I, I ever thought I would through, uh, throughout this tour, but more importantly, I've just met some incredible people. Um, you know, people have been very interested in hearing my story, um, but more importantly, hearing the stories of the people we've met, 
and, you know, inspiring, you know, that you can have a really a, you know, three to five minute conversation with someone and, and really, uh, you know, share some, some very special moments with a, a person that you just met. And that's really been the, the greatest thing for me is to um, meet people. Uh, I know that was one of the things my mom talked about all the time during her solo trips and her journey and her little quasi RV of a 1967 Plymouth Valiant that she named Polly um, was just how she talked about the people she met and the, the effect that those people had on their lives. And I know that she had an incredible effect on their lives because after she had passed away, we'd received multiple letters and cards of people that we had never even met who told us the impact that my mom had on their life. And, you know, some of that was, you know, because they were with her for a three or four month uh, volunteer project, uh, whether it was hurricane relief, whether it was at ground zero or just a short interaction with her. And it's something that I've really grown to understand. Um, since we've been on our journey is that, uh, you know, those people that you meet, um, you know, sometimes they're gonna, you know, be part of your life for, for several months, maybe the remainder of your life. You never know. Um, sometimes you're going to have a short little interaction with them and never see them again. And, uh, but yet they still make an incredible impact on your life. And that's one of the things I'm really learning to enjoy is just hearing stories of people um, and uh, you know, getting to know people that I wouldn't normally get to know if it wasn't for what we were doing. So, you know, I guess uh, if there's a main point I want to make here in episode 200, it is really to um, enjoy the little things, and enjoy the moment. You know, the subtitle of this podcast is many little people in many little places. And that just comes shining through um, every day that we're on this journey is that we meet so many incredible um, people out there doing their little things to try to make the world a little bit better place. Um, and uh, I love it. I love that part of, of what we do here. And I think that, you know, we all need to stop and take time to enjoy the moment and enjoy what's going on and understand really how precious life is and that tomorrow is not guaranteed. Um, and to really trust the timing and not try to force things. Um, you know, we've just got Uke's uh, author proof back for his book. Uh, it was something that I was hoping would have been released uh, much sooner than what it is. But as it turns out, the fact that it's going to be released on his 14th birthday, uh, we're in the midst of a pre-sale campaign right now. It was really the perfect timing for, for that book to come out. And it's, it's really special for it to be able to come out on March 28th, which is going to be his 14th birthday. Um, you know, and again, it was just one of those things that reiterated you know, no matter how much I want to force things or, you know, try to make things happen sooner than, than what I thought, um, that when they really do happen, it really is the, the perfect time. So if there's anything I want people to take away here from, from episode 200 is, you know, to just trust the timing, uh, trust God's timing. It's not going to align with our timing. It's never going to align with our timing. I can assure you of that. Um, but even more importantly, uh, live in the moment and, and understand that each day is a gift. Um, and we're not guaranteed tomorrow. So when you're with, you know, those special people in your life, whether it's someone you've known for years or someone you just met a little while ago, um, take advantage of that time and, and, uh, you know, really share that time with them and, and, uh, you know, understand how important it is. I can't stress that enough. So, that's really all I uh, all I wanted to say in here. Uh, I wanted to get out of my comfort zone. I'm sure I'm going to make Tony uh, Tony happy when she listens to this and listens to my my second monologue out of uh, um, 200 episodes. That's what one percent of my episodes have been have been monologues so far. Uh, I'll try to increase on that, uh, but I'm not guaranteeing anything because it's still incredibly uncomfortable for me to do this. Um, but uh, 
you know, who knows, maybe in the next hundred episodes, there'll be a few more little monologues like this. But, uh, you know, for those out there listening, I really appreciate you taking the time. Um, it's still mind blowing to me that people actually, you know, pick up their phone or whatever device they listen to podcasts on and uh, search for the journey of my mother's son and listen to the conversations of the people that I have on here and the guests. And even more importantly, to, you know, listen to myself in just a monologue. So um, again, it's mind blowing to me to see the number of downloads that I get of, uh, of people that are out there listening. Cause I, you know, many times wonder, uh, you know, why they tune in for sure. So, um, you know, so I want to thank everybody who's been part of the, the 200 episodes so far, whether it's guests, listeners, uh, friends, family, it's been an awesome journey. Uh, looking forward to another 200 episodes. I don't think we're going to get to uh, number 300 as quickly as we got to number 200 because I'm ratcheting back a little bit, um, you know, probably cranking back to releasing two episodes a week. Um, definitely not going to be releasing three episodes a week anytime soon like I did most of 2022. And I may even ratchet back to going back to just one episode a week. I'm not sure. Um, but as long as I'm out there and uh, being able to put out quality content and, you know, inspiring stories of, uh, of other people, um, we're going to keep talking to people who have those awesome stories. So those out there listening, be sure to check out my other podcasts and blogs at journeymymotherson.com. Like I said, Ukes Presale is in the midst. Uh, go to our website there. You can get, uh, Get a copy of his book. Be one of the first to receive it. It's, uh, it's an awesome book. Um, Four Paws and Six Wheels Across America, The Adventures of Euclid, the Golden Retriever. Um, pre-sale going on now. And, uh, of course, on my website, you can also get copies of my two books, The Journey of My Mother's Son, Volume 1, and The Beauty of a Diamond, The Eyes of Age. So, and thank you all very much for tuning in and listening. 